To scare you was <laughs> not okay. my intention. No, it's just uh, usually very quiet at this time of the day, and I, I wasn't expecting to see anybody, that's all. And it's perfectly understandable. I will be on my way. I didn't mean to interrupt no. your quiet time. No, it's quite fine. I don't mind. Very well. I wanted to come here because I visited yesterday. The tea shop was uh, recently open and I met uh, Miss Scarlet and she told me that uh, I believe it was you who built this place. I wanted to stop by and offer you my compliments. It is a beautiful shop. Oh. And I believe it has oh, a name thank now. You. It does. Uh, it uh, <clears throat> it means horseshoe. I see. You see, we have a, a lady here named Jade, and she got her tea leaves read in the city, and uh, the lady basically told her that she was going to throw horseshoes at men and attract them. I see. So it's just a little... <laughs> I received a similar prophecy. My interpretation of that story was that my horse will die in about five minutes uh, from the point of uh, when the prophecy was foretold. So I ran to my horse and I verified that it was still alive. Nothing bad happened to it. Is it still alive now? It indeed is. I take great care of my horses. Well, that is very good to hear. It is my full intention. For my horse to outlive me. <laughs> uh, do you think it's going to? That remains to be seen. <laughs> hmm, I see. Well, future is difficult to predict. Especially if you're trying to read it from tea leaves. Uh, yes. Uh, she told me that I uh, should... S Sweep all the bad things away. Hmm. If only it were that simple. <laughs> exactly. That's what I told her and she just laughed at me, so... Hmm. Sounds like a scam to me, although it would be quite unfair of me to judge. I am not versed in the arts of fortune telling. There are others. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it was Miss... Uh, there is someone else from the Moon Faction who read my poem. She didn't provide much clarity or many details, but it was still an interesting experience. Oh, I see. Perhaps the I, point of I such know. services is merely therapeutic. It's supposed to tell you what you already know. Mm, I think so. And it is up to you how you handle that information. Yes, I... I feel like most time they tell you something and you uh, interpret it how you wish. Indeed. But, my apologies, I didn't mean to have such a deep conversation in such an awkward place. I merely wanted to ask you about the audition. I didn't know that this tea shop is also a bookstore. Oh, yes. Mizu is uh, collecting books and statues. I see. That seems like a perfect uh, combination. Up, uh, upstairs, though. Uh, would you like me to show you? I would love to. Of course, if you're not too busy. I... Uh, oh, no, I was just putting away some of the uh, drinks and food from the meeting earlier, that's all. Ah, the meeting. How did that go? I don't know, I wasn't there. I see. Uh, I sensed a little bit of tension, though. So you just cleaned up after them? Uh, well, I provided them with tea and food, and yes, I just went to clean it up. They didn't eat much. Still very generous of you. Mm -hmm. She's still working on it, I believe, but... I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. She's been very busy. Hmm, I like these shelves. Uh, yeah, they're nice, aren't they? I thought she did a very nice job on them. This frog has 
a very malevolent look. It's just a frog. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Perhaps my interpretation of uh, the malevolent face this frog is trying to express is my own issue. Perhaps a prejudice I need to challenge with better understanding of how difficult life of a frog might be. Do you not like frog? I do not mind frogs, but this one has a very frowny face. Maybe he's just sad that he has no water. Hmm. Perhaps. It just so happens that I was just on my way to collect some fresh water. Oh. oh. There. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem uh, to be any happier. Uh, no. Uh, perhaps he will uh, become happier over time. One can only hope, but it was a good guess nonetheless. Well, I try. I'm not so good at that kind of thing. <laughs> Working out what people want. Nice curtains. Mm. Although this one seems to be a bit... Uh, well, as you said, this is still work in progress and I didn't mean to bring my judgment. It is a beautiful place, yep. full of potential. Yes, I know she's working quite hard on it. Oh, these these statues were placed here by me. Don't look at them. Uh, they are just uh, ones that she hadn't gotten yet. That's all. Oh, my apologies. You directly told me. You directly asked me to not look at them. And I crouched and looked at them. I must apologize. <laughs> no, I just more meant that uh, it's not her doing just to put things randomly over the place. That was me. Oh, you see. I just wanted to make sure she saw them. I didn't want to tell her how to run her shop. <laughs> hmm. Something tells me that you would prefer to organize and uh, decorate this place yourself. But you want to give her an opportunity to perhaps do so as she wishes. And then you will ask her if you could fix it. <laughs> no, I will definitely not ask her if I can fix it. I feel like I do that way too much as it is. I have to let go of some of the control, you know? Hmm. That could be more so difficult I'm told. than one might imagine. Letting go of a control is, uh, makes you vulnerable. I am not so good at chaos, that's for sure. Hmm. Chaos is indeed difficult to handle. But... Mm -hmm. It is an important skill to possess, to make the most out of a difficult situation. I prefer not to get into difficult situations in the first place. Hmm. Perhaps that is the best policy, to simply avoid any kind of chaos or anything difficult. Preparation is the key well in all aspects of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is true. But yeah. it might work differently for others. I do not wish to claim that I know everything about everything. Uh, well, uh, yes, my brother is very different. He much prefers the chaos. It fuels him, apparently. He certainly seems to be quite a wild spirit. Mm. But so are you. You have more in common than you realize. I don't know about that one. <laughs> are you sure? You are anything but mm. boring. Uh, I don't know. I came here to find my brother and help him and I ended up running a tea shop. <laughs> what does that say about me? It says <clears throat> that you are ready to move on with your life, that you are ready to step up, and that you are ready 
to apply yourself and your skills. When I first arrived here, people were complaining that there are no facilities that would uh, allow any kind of comfort or perhaps relaxation. So you saw an opportunity and you applied yourself. You have done the best you could to help your people. And for that, they should be grateful. And so am I. Well, I appreciate that. In a way, you brought harmony into the Sun faction. Mm, I think that's giving me way too much credit, but thank you. With all the respect, I am in charge of giving people credit. So, that is what I'm doing. And if you wish to disagree, then I will not allow that. You will take the credit when it's offered. You may only challenge if ever I provide criticism. You're in charge of giving people credit. That's your job. Yes. <laughs> Who gave you this job? My own self. I am hereby providing credit on my own behalf. I see. Would you like some tea then? I would love to. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Something... Something ordinary that uh, I could afford. I unfortunately don't carry a lot of money on me. It's okay, it doesn't cost anything. That is not exactly a sound business strategy. Yes, I'm aware, but I get the help of the people, and uh, I don't really need to sell it. If you say so. Uh, just here on the counter. You can grab some. Ooh, is that a selection of these? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I... Uh... My bladder is already cursing your name. <laughs> Just by looking at all the teas. <laughs> you don't have to drink them all in one go. You can save some for later. What? I thought that you're supposed to drink the tea while it's still fresh. And warm. Yes, but you can always uh, pop it in a teapot and heat it up again later. Very well then. It will last. Could I get mm -hmm. thir uh, 29 teapots? I can give you one. Hmm. Perhaps I will mix all the teas that you provided me with into one <laughs> mixed flavor tea. Is that what uh, the intention of this <laughs> was? No. My apologies. It was not. When it comes to these rituals of drinking tea in the appropriate way, I still have much to learn. Definitely don't mix them together. I don't think they'd be very tasty. Whatever you say. After all, you are the aficionado of tea. Uh, no, I just... Uh... <laughs> There's two teapots for you. That's all I have right now. <laughs> You'll have to come back and get the third another day. And I just... Brew tea, as my mother taught me a very long time ago. There. I only took one of each. I do not need your reports. <laughs> I do not wish to steal from your business already. No, it's not stealing if I'm giving them to you willingly. But, uh, uh, you're, not so, you're not supposed to drink them all together. I see. Perhaps I should just, have read the manual. <laughs> just one at a time would be better. Very well. But please, you mentioned that your mother was the one who taught you how to prepare all of this. 
Was she also uh, running oh, yeah. a similar business? Uh, no, she just liked to uh, cook and prepare tea for the academy. I see. Your brother mentioned something about an academy. He actually mentioned that he used to have a teacher who was similar to me when he first arrived into my dojo. N yes, he did. We both did. I see. So both of you are students, or adepts, or former ones of uh, martial uh, arts. Well, it was uh, somewhat expected of us. Our parents run the academy. They have many teachers there to teach different things. Ah, now I understand. No wonder you two mm -hmm. are so competitive. Yes, it was always expected of us to learn and uh, be students at the academy. Mm, that must have been difficult for the both of you. Mm, not really. I really enjoyed it. I see. Were your parents it's... ambitious with your progress? Uh, yes, our father pushed us a lot. Mm. It is often inadvisable for parents to teach their children when it comes to martial arts or any kind of uh, more difficult skill. It is often preferred to find uh, unbiased teachers, perhaps those that your parents would trust. Yes, uh, we mostly took our training from other teachers and masters, but that is good. Uh, our parents were around a lot, watching, making sure we were doing well. Hmm. Keeping track of our progress. One can hardly blame them for trying to be involved in the life of their own children. Uh, yes, well, Hataru always struggled a little. He was... He hated that he was always a little behind me. Ah, so you are the prodigy of the family. The chosen one. Who was provided with all the talent. And he's the jealous one. Hataru has a lot of talent. He just... <clears throat> struggles to focus, that is all. <laughs> I see. Then perhaps you were provided with the greatest talent of all. Wisdom and patience. P perhaps. I have been told a lot lately that I'm very patient, so... <laughs> that is certainly a good quality to possess. Yes, I... I wish I could give some to my brother. I think he could do with some sometimes. Hmm. In a way, you already are. By being there. By being an important presence in his life, you are showing him the importance of patience. And that is often all you can do. You cannot give your skills or your emotions to others. But you can serve as an example. Well, I it wasn't always so patient with him. I am trying, though. I am sure you will succeed. You seem to have a right mindset. And your heart seems to be in the right place. Hmm. Well, I had been quite angry at him for some time. But... With the help of others around, I have learnt to understand his choices a little better and maybe not just go with what our parents told us.
Oui, si. Sobo has been uh, very helpful in discussing balance and patience. Hmm, that is good to know. She seems to be wise beyond her ears. Yes, she definitely is. I asked her to take better care of herself. She seems to get herself into all sorts of trouble. Yes, she does. Hopefully has she asked you... Has she asked you her seven questions yet? I do not believe so. I only met her during the party. It was quite chaotic. Oh, I see. Well, she's asking everybody seven questions of hers. They're very odd questions and you can't think about it. You just have to say what first comes to mind. I see. And then she's, then she's trying to match people up, either for friendships or whatever it may be. Thank you for the warning. It's quite interesting. In that case, yes. I will surely decline to answer. Well, uh, as long as she doesn't trick you into it, at least now you know. If she starts asking questions, you'll know why. Hmm. That is good to know. I appreciate the warning. The first one has to do with an elephant and a chicken. I struggle to see any point in that question. Well, she'd like to know... How many chickens does it take to kill an elephant? I see. <laughs> yes. I... But uh, the reason I thought about this was because at the party you said uh, you told her to take better care of yourself, but at the party she matched somebody uh, with me and she giggled as she said it and said good luck and ran down the hill but then tumbled and fell over it and rolled down the hill. Ah, I see. Perhaps her mischievous nature is the main cause of her injuries. Perhaps, yes. But one can hardly blame her. She is well within her adulthood. Yes, but she is 107. Mm. <laughs> then she was blessed with a very long age. Mm -hmm. She was. She keeps telling me that she's not going to be around much longer. Yes. Uh, adult individuals very advanced adult individuals they like to remind everyone else of their mortality yes i don't know why perhaps so that we can benefit from their wisdom while they're still around perhaps Well, Miss Hikari, I gotta say, your tea shop is not only beautiful, but the company is, uh, well, absolutely delightful. Well, I'm glad. If there is ever a chance for me to provide any recommendation to others, I will surely send them your way. And the tea oh, thank you. is amazing too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I only wish I would have any pearls to spare so that I could pay you. Uh, no, there's no need for that. I feel very uncomfortable charging people for tea. Uh, to me, it's something that is made to be shared and... Hmm. I don't know. It's just... Feels strange to sell it, that's all. Hmm. I understand what you mean. Perhaps I will be able to provide different services in the future to repay you for your kindness. 
Oh. Uh, like what? Whatever might be necessary. For example, I taught Miss Scarlett how to ride a horse. I am teaching other students how to fight. Some others seeked my presence to perhaps discuss the nature of their goals and how they could better apply themselves in the grand scheme of things. In these uncertain times, people often seek the company of others to discuss certain things with them. So if there is ever any need for it, you can always arrive at my dojo and I shall gladly provide you with my guidance. I will keep that in mind. I do have a question for you. But of course, please ask. I remember when I first met you, you were talking about balance. Indeed. How... I wanted to ask Sobo this as well, but I didn't get a chance. How do you know uh, when balance is needed and when it's not? You don't. You either feel it or you don't. <laughs> you see, Miss Hikari, when you look around you, things are currently peaceful in harmony. They are balanced. But if, for example, you brewed way too much tea and it spilled all over the kettles and caused a tsunami of astronomical proportions of hot tea spilling all over the sun faction, it wouldn't really fare well for the inhabitants of this beautiful capital. That is why I deem balance to be necessary. All things in moderation, all things in perfect harmony. And I believe it to be beneficial to everyone, not just the faction of the sun. All the inhabitants of this earthly realm seek balance between yin and yang, because they know that these principles, although necessary, need to be balanced, need to be in harmony. Otherwise, if you have too much of one and too little of the other, there could be unintended consequences. Mm, I see. But all of it is just conjecture. I do not know what the future holds. At the very least, not for this world. I can only guess what my own destiny is and where my path is taking me. In the end, all you can really influence is your own life and your own actions. You cannot be held responsible for the actions of others. I feel like I am always held responsible for my brother's actions. I am sorry to hear that. That must be difficult. Sometimes. Do you believe that is your destiny? To be there? To serve? This particular purpose? I did, for a very long time. Now I am not so certain. It seems like there could be more. Perhaps a different journey you could take and explore. Yes, perhaps. Sobo keeps trying to push me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Hmm. Don't let her push her too far. Otherwise, you could risk losing yourself. 
or perhaps transforming into something you may not like. To deviate, that is the ex to deviate from your path could be beneficial, but you should never forget where your path, where your journey started. Hmm. Hmm, That's what I am afraid of. And it's what I'm afraid of for my brother as well. I have faith in both of you that you will find a way. Mm. He is very stubborn. He thinks he has found the ultimate path that is leading him to happiness and that may be the case, but I just worry for what he's leaving behind. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Yes, we shall. I hope this will work out for you, Miss Hikari. And your brother. I hope so. But for now, I shall leave you to your business and to your peaceful tea shop. I hope I didn't take up any mm -hmm. too much of your time. Uh, no, you are fine. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Make sure you come back again and get some more tea. Mm.